Yeah, we'll deal with that in another video. Hi, my name's Darren. Welcome to my workshop. In the last video, I made a dust collection system both for my jointing plane and for my belt sander. And I made a little dust catcher out of plastic for the uh, jointing plane so as the dust can be extracted better. And I said at the end of that video I was going to make one for the belt sander as well, which I've done. Now I've had to make it in two pieces so as I could actually get it off the printer because you know obviously it's got to sit on a flat surface as they're made. So, I'll show you how these two pieces fit together in case you want to print one out yourself and uh, we'll have a bit of a test and see how it goes. So this is the way these two parts are designed. This piece is where the vacuum cleaner hose actually connects. So the vacuum cleaner hose goes in here uh, and then this piece is the mounting bracket to hold this in place. So you'll see on here, let me have a, there's a ridge and that ridge is to give it more surface area to attach to this. So we want ours, so the hose faces back this way and that this is the front. So we'll want this piece with its ridge to go against there like this. Now if for some reason your belt sander ran in the opposite direction, you could turn the whole thing around 180 degrees and it would face the opposite way. But uh, for my needs, this way around. So I'm just going to glue those in, that in place with some super glue. But before I do that, I'm just going to give this a very light sanding just to give it something extra to key into. And the same on this one, just a very light sanding. Yeah, a bit of a wipe, get the dust off in. Okay, let's glue this thing together. Now I'm using Sino Acrylate glue. Uh, I guess you could use other glues. That's up to you. Alrighty, now we all know about this stuff, about not getting it on your fingers or in your eyes. There we go, that should be enough glue. Triple check that that's in the right orientation. All right, this is one of those times when you've got to be super careful because you know it dries quickly. The old super glue, and you don't want to do that. All right, so I'm just going to peg that down in a couple of spots with some spring clamps. While it's drying, I'm just going to get my hot milk glue all heated up. I'm going to use this to tack it in place initially before going on to the uh, screws, putting screws in. Now I'm going to tack this into place with a bit of hot milk glue so it holds nice and still while I screw it in place. There you go, that's more than enough. So I'm just going to pop that on here, like so. Hopefully I'm not in the way. There we go. So that's it like that. And then of course the vacuum hose goes in there. So the idea here is to try and catch a bit of the dust that was flying out this way. If you recall, I was getting a lot of dust shooting off here. So I'm hoping that by having this here and having it a bit of suction through there, it'll work a little bit better. So, there we go. You can see the top of the bracket there is just basically to stop what flies up. It's all well away from here, so it won't vibrate against this, which was important. All right, so now all we need is a couple of screws to hold it in place. 
Okay, so that's not going to come off in a hurry. Now we can test it. All right, let's go. Not quite the resounding success I'd hoped for, perhaps still of some use to you. It's still getting better results than the original large extractor hose used to. So I'll still make the plans available on Thingiverse in case you want to download them. But anyway, there you go. Have a nice day. I'll see you later.